Hey, love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed this weekend. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up. It'll be greatly appreciated. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and feel like you would like to comment, go ahead and drop me a comment or two. Um, I love to get the positive feedback and I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And thank you so much for the love and support. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Thank you for the love and support. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, the benefits of being a Heoka empath. Today I'm listening to happy meditation music, serotonin release, happiness frequency uh, by Nero, they Nero beats. By narrow beat music. Ugh, excuse me. Sorry. Every time I make a video, my nose will start to itch, and I don't know why. Cause it's the only time this, only time I, my nose will itch when I make a video. It's a conundrum, I guess. But uh, <laughs> today my video is about Twin Flame 101, uh, the benefits of being a Hayoka empath. There are so many things I'm learning more and more about this, and I find it really interesting. And, you know, there's always a blessing and a curse about certain things, especially when it comes to, like, indigos or empaths and Hayoka empaths and many other uh, people that character, uh, characterize with that. Sorry, I had to put that on the charger real quick, so I seen it was about to go uh, dead. But anyways, uh, the characteristics of being a Hayoka empath, number one, if you ever notice uh, of you being a Hayoka empath, you don't look your age. It's like, it's, I know when I started on my journey and there was more and more stuff that I was knowing about myself, a lot of people kept on saying when I released a lot of my uh, negative trauma that I went through as a child and as an adult, I started looking younger and younger. It just seems like when we release a lot of things that we go through, I don't know about you, but I looked a lot younger after that. And it was just like, people were like, what did you do? I said, all I used was soap and water. That's it. And pray and meditate. That's all I do. And I noticed with my dad, he was the same way. Um, he never really looked his age. So it's just like, you probably noticed that people will ask, you know, when you tell me your age and stuff like that, and you're you might look at you like, hey, you don't, you know, you don't look your age. And it was like I was in a store or something one day and I was just bragging about, you know, about my granddaughter, you know, and this lady had stopped by and she was just like, I know you did not just, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go jump into your conversation, but did you just say, you have a granddaughter? And I was like, yes, ma'am, I do. And she was just like, you don't even look like you have you have children old enough to actually have children. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> so it that could be one of the good things of uh, being a hell of empath. We don't look our age. Um, and it's just the trauma that we have been through um, and the way that we go about dealing with them. It's It makes you, it seems like it makes you a lot stronger because it's like we all go through things. We all have our trials and tribulations we all go through. But it just seems like with health and empaths, they really go through some detrimental things. And for you to be able to heal and come back from that and not have to go to jail or lose a life or somebody else losing a life and stuff like that, you can actually be able to tell your story. That is a benefit of being a health and empath. And it's just um, another one. Uh, well, actually, you know, still going through that. Um, when we go through things, we go through it really hard but it's just the way we go about it is really like why would you why would you want to go through things like that but it's just the way we go through it it makes it it seems like we it makes us a lot stronger as the individual and um and it helps us to be able to help the next person who's going around you know that you might be able to recognize it might be going through pretty much almost the same thing as you you'll be able to help them get through it um and be able to be a lesson you know, towards the next person, or the next person could be going off and telling with you in a hell impact. You're always able to tell what another when you approach another one. 
that other individuals probably wouldn't even notice. But we have that special connection that we'll be able to read um, each other and know, you know, hey, you're you're one of us. And um, another one is just the fact is we're able to read a lot of people, and that sometimes that can be a good thing and sometimes be a bad thing. But the the good benefit of it is that you could know if there's somebody that's being deceitful towards you or they don't mean you any good or don't mean you any harm because it's just like with us we'll probably get stuck on our words or it's it's not like you're you know you're like a passive aggressive person or you know or anything like that but it's like our senses will go off like caution signs and we'll know like hey there's something not right about this person or hey you know this person you know might be in danger or something like that and it's like we're able to help people when we're able to know things so that's a good benefit of knowing things sometimes before it happens you're able to probably stop a lot of things you know if you're like hey you know this and this and that might happen so you know watch out and especially if it's an empath that's trying to tell you you're wandering down the wrong path you're supposed to listen because <laughs> obviously we know something more than you do so I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I was just letting you know the benefits of being a hail empath. If you know any other suggestions or anything that gives good benefit of being that, go ahead and drop me a line or two and let me know your experience. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild. And drop a line or two. And subscribe. Hit that notification button. And I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. I'll keep you on my prayers. And peace. And be wild again. <laughs> Bye.